the black plague. 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 Black plague. What about the Obama recovery? February 9th, 2012. The Obama recovery continues to ravage the land. The misery index hits a 28-year high. America's credit rating is downgrading for the first time ever. The standard of living for Americans falls further and more steeply than at any time since the government bloody began keeping records. I'm sorry, I forgot. Reality is that it's February 9th, 2012, and we have by no means survived the Obama recovery. The dude has got at least, you know, like eight or nine months to keep, you know, cooking the stats. Hey, Obama, do you really think you're going to be able to cook those job stats for eight straight months as people sink into the mire of poverty, despair, rage, mucus, plus, saliva. I had one of my famous fits. They are not real fits. Hey, they're not real fits, okay? Here's the situation. The Obama recovery is probably uh, almost as bad as the Black Plague. A little hyperbole there. Uh, you remember the Black Plague? Well, the Obama recovery is, is going to be hard to recover from. Aww. In the same way. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so, the people who are really watching us in the present are wondering how they're going to survive. And it's not like I have easy answers. Uh, it's clearly just getting worse by the second. It puts us all in a conundrum, doesn't it? Yes. The correct answer is yes. It puts us in a dire conundrum, whereby it um, doesn't look like either party, well, it doesn't look like it doesn't look like either party is is helping us in the slightest. Uh, it drives me nuts to run into my fellow lefties who are still pretending that Obama is our friend. I mean, most people's friend. 
not Obama the man, but mostly we're, we're attacking the politics. But <laughs> uh, never, never in my born days have I seen such terrible politics coming from Democrats. Okay. I'm sorry, that's me. I'm penetrating the illusions. This is me trying to penetrate the illusions of people who feel, still think Obama is a frustrated lefty. Don't be silly. <laughs> Well, the conundrum that us lefties feel, and I think normal people feel, is the, the primordial fear of another Republican president. Okay, back on topic. The primordial fear of another Republican president, I mean, after Bush Cheney, for Christ's sake. Right, Christ? Yes, Perry. Bush Cheney turned us all off to Republicans forever. Yes, there it was Jesus. If Republicans can quote Jesus, why can't I? Sorry, I'm doing, okay, look, it's a conundrum because uh, this is a real fear. Uh, right now, who knows, the Republicans are just trying on all kinds of different candidates. You know, it's their turn to be trying on candidates while we're bloody stuck with Obama. The, the guy who stole his health care plan from Romney. Sometimes it's worth pointing out to Obama's apologists that his health care plan, Obama's health care plan, his big signal achievement, okay, was like directly stolen from, right now his probable opponent would be Mitt Romney. Yep. And I, it's sometimes fun to ask Obamacrats, say, if that health plan is a brilliant achievement on Obama's part, is it not an even more brilliant achievement on Mitt Romney's part? Oh my god, Perry's face is melting yet again. This happens every episode and we do apologize. Perhaps he's been playing too much disc golf. If you play too much disc golf, your face will melt. This is Perry Logan's cat. I'm Perry Logan's cat and I'm big and strong. I'm Perry Logan's cat and I sing his song. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, uh, uh, Perry encouraged me to be hammy. <laughs> this is Perry Logan's cat, and I survived the Obama recovery. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey, I'd like to say it was easy, but it took eight of my nine lives Aww. to recover from the Obama recovery. <laughs> now, by the way, it was us cats who saved you from the Black Plague. Well, it took eight of my nine lives, my friends, to recover from the Obama recovery. It took 
one of my kitty cat lives to recover from a misery index at a 28 year high. Are you staring at my nose? Stop staring at my nose. It took another of my nine cat lives to recover from America's first downgrading of credit ever. Aww. Another of my kitty cat lives passed away when I realized that under the Obama recovery, the standard of living for Americans fell further and more steeply than at any time since the government began recording it five decades ago. If that doesn't make Barack Obama the worst president ever, I'm not a cat in sunglasses, baby. <laughs> Sorry, Craig got in the way there. I had to take him out. Another of my kitty cat lives passed away as I thought Obama is now on track to have the worst jobs record of any president in the modern era. Obama. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Obama? Another of my cat lives passed away as I realized Obama is now on track to have the worst job record of any president in the modern era. Oh! And yet, another of my cat lives passed before my eyes as I thought chronic unemployment under the Obama recovery is worse than the Great Depression. Ah! Worse than the Great Depression. Not a word you want to hear, right, Obama? Yes, Perry Logan's cat. And what about all those killer drones, Obama? You've killed like 30 or more children with your killer drones. Aren't you ashamed? Yes, Perry Logan's cat. Obama, you are now on track to have the worst jobs record of any president in the modern era. The share of the eligible population holding a job has reached its lowest level since July 1983. Yes. Perry Logan's cat. Almost 26 million are either unemployed, marginally attached to the labor force, or involuntarily working part time. A number experts say is unprecedented. Yes, unprecedented. Perry Logan's cat. Sorry about my marked speech impediment. Never mind about your marked and notable speech impediment, Obama. The point is, I keep losing my cat lives to your terrible stats. You cannot possibly be a Democrat. Obama, a smaller share of 16 to 19 year olds are working under your recovery than at any time since records began to be kept in 1948, the year of Perry Logan's birth. 1948, the year of Perry Logan's birth. Yes, Perry Logan's cat. Black unemployment is at its highest level in 27 years. Yes, kitty cat. Black youth unemployment is now closing in on 50%. Yes, Mr. Cat. The rate of economic growth under your recovery has been only slightly higher than the 1930s, the decade of the bloody Great Depression. <laughs> and a far funkier decade than this one, my brother. Yes, Perry Logan's cat. A far funkier decade than this one. Yes, Perry Logan's cat. Anyway, I'm out of lives, okay? I'm out of lives, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Hello. Hello to anyone who is still alive uh, here during the Obama recovery. Okay, we have to pretend like this show. Check it out. We're pretending like the Obama recovery is over. And that is, oh, okay, that's a little bit, a little bit counter to reality. It's February 9th, 2012. I regret to say the uh, Obama recovery is claiming victim after victim. Almost no socioeconomic class other than one. And you can guess which one. You can't guess which one. Almost all socioeconomic classes are suffering horribly. <laughs> 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 
Oh God, please let this recovery end. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Darndest recovery you ever heard of just doesn't, you know, it's like, how could, how could it be a recovery with all known stats being worse? This is Perry Logan, and you know how I love to present you with logical conundrums and paradoxes. And the metaphors from the end of time, and who knows what. But... He was on drugs. I'm pretty sure that guy was on drugs, okay? And I don't mean the good drugs. <gasps> okay, well, we are presented here in this show. This is such a deep show. Oh, come on, I can call it deep if I want. It's my show. This show is deep because it deals with epistemology. Epistemology? I don't know what it means either, and yet I know. I just know. This show is, is about epistemology because we're living right now, February 9th, 2012. Uh, we are told in no uncertain terms, and many times over, that, uh, what happened to my face there? Oh, look at this. My face turns into like kind of a just dirty chalk drawing in reality. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not responsible for that. The point being... <laughs> what I'm saying is, the government is clearly presenting us with as positive a line as they can about the economy because it's an election year. It's an election year, and Obama is, uh, of course, obliged to present uh, one of the most dismal performances on the economy in history. I say this as a card-carrying lefty. Okay. If you question my credentials as a lefty, I will hit you with the freeze ray. <laughs> drugs. Drugs. No, look. You are in a situation where everything is worse Virtually everything is worse. People's lives are, uh, in, in, people are really hurting now, and the government is, is just kind of going through the motions of appearing to help this under Obama. But it's an election year, and, and uh, I swear, uh, <laughs> they've got to call it a recovery. They just have to. And you know, you've, you may have seen the graphs of the Obama recovery, which are apparently just so bad. As long as, you know, and you know, can we even believe the stats? I think the answer is no. According to some statistics recently released by the Obama administration, claiming a unbelievable uh, rise in, uh, in the job numbers going up, job numbers getting better. And Obama recently, here on February 9th, 2012, they came out with these numbers that were Economists just sort of spontaneously called them unbelievable. <laughs> this is true. This is a big moment here. Where, you know, just recently they claimed that the jobless rate was down to 8.3 percent. I remember this. Do you remember that? I love you, Katie. Those very stats struck people as unbelievable and incredible, and. They were just blurted it out, you know, economists blurted out, this is pretty unbelievable. <laughs> One of the stats involved in this said that the black unemployment rate had improved three times faster than the national average. Oh, come on, my friends. Oh, I'm sorry, did I turn into a dirty chalk drawing? Don't you see that if there were that kind of economic recovery going on in the black community, the black community would be telling us about it? Yeah. Well, of course. Uh, so anyway, I, you know, I, 
I guess I won't beat around the bush. I'm pretty sure Obama's people are cooking the stats uh, on the economic recovery because they've got to do that. And that's why I say if you look at the oh, much more important stats, the poverty rate is going up at record speed. You know, it's, not, it's not going down or flatlining. It's going up at record speed. Uh, may God save us from the Obama recovery. <laughs>
Oh, I don't know about you, but I can't handle too much more of this uh, Obama recovery, right? Uh, worst thing since the Black Plague, okay? But one way you can arm yourself really is to vote for the progressive third party of your choice. Also get on the streets in peaceful protests. Join the Occupy movement. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do, okay? The government has gone bad, okay? And uh, they are like, oh, I'm not gonna say that Obama is cooking the stats, but I don't know. The guy will sell out, will send out killer drones by the zillions and people say he wouldn't cook the stats. What kind of a dream, bizarro world paradise do these people live in? Heaven! Heaven! My friends, goodbye. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the earthly paradise where you vote for the progressive third party of your choice and your brain fills with lovely endorphins for the next four years. Compare and contrast to the hellish black plague of the Obama recovery. In this earthly paradise we find the peaceful protesters, the Occupy Wall Street protesters whom I love and do not have the hearts for, that's a complete fabrication. My friends, enjoy this earthly paradise now. By these actions we will gradually save our government. I'm sure it can be done. To the people of the future, Congratulations, you survived the Obama recovery. That's like a miracle.